Good day everyone! Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Tikias Math. Our topic for today is illustrating ordinary general annuity and general annuity due. Let's do it. We have this formula for ordinary general annuity. PV equals R multiplied by 1 minus quantity 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by quantity 1 plus I. I raised to K minus 1. K is the number of compounding periods and that is equal to P over C. This P is the M or the compounding period. It can be quarterly for 4, semi-annually 2, annually 1, and then monthly 12. And then C is the number of months in a compounding period. Okay, so for the future value, we have R multiplied by quantity 1 plus i raised to n minus 1, and then divided by 1 plus i raised to k minus 1. Example 1, what is the accumulated value of an annuity of 3,000 at the end of each month for 5 years at 6% compounded quarterly? Let us verify first whether this is really a general annuity. It says here, each month okay and then compounded quarterly meaning this one is the payment interval this is differ from the compounded quarterly that is the compounding interval okay so it is really a general annuity let's see whether it is an ordinary it says here at the end of each month for five years so meaning this is really an ordinary now, let us identify the given. What is the accumulated value of an annuity? So, that is the future value. That is our unknown. Now, what is this 3,000? This is the regular or periodic payment. That is 3,000. Okay? So, our M is 4. Okay, so therefore our P is also 4. And then our C is, it says here, each month, number of months. So many to say that is 12. Okay. And then our K is equivalent to 4 over 12. That's the formula. Or K is equal to 1 third. Simplifying it. Next, our R is... 0.06 that's six percent our i is 0 0.06 divided by four so we have i is equivalent to 0 0.015 okay so we are now ready to substitute this in the formula for fv fv equals r multiplied by 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 divided by 1 plus i raised to k minus 1. So this is equal to r which is 3000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.015 raised to n. n is we did not get yet the N, but we can get it. N is equal to MT. So that will be equal to... That will be equal to... What is our M4? And our T is... Where is our T? Our T is 5. MT. Our T is 5. Okay. So therefore, our N is equal to... 4 times 5... This is n equals 20. So we have 20 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.015 raised to k. k is 1 third minus 1. Okay. So our fv, our future value, therefore, is equivalent to, you just press this one. 3,000, you press this, 1.015 raised to 20 minus 1, divided by, open parenthesis, 
1.015 raised to 1 over 3, 1 divided by 3, minus 1, close parenthesis. And your future value there will be 209,150.30. Example number 2. Mrs. Carbonell would like to buy a television set payable for 6 months starting at the end of the month. How much is the cost of the television set if her monthly payment is 3000 and interest is 9% compounded semi-annually? Let us verify whether it is really a general annuity. It says here monthly and then semi-annually. So the compounding period is different from the uh, payment interval. That's correct. So it's really general annuity. Let us verify if this one is ordinary. It should be at the end. So it says here at the end of the month. It's correct. So now let us identify the given. What is 3,000? Our 3,000 is of course our R. What else? 6 months. Our T is 6 months. So that is 6 over 12 or 1 half. That is 0.5. What else? Our M is given, that is semi-annually 2. So we can now solve for the N. N is empty. So we have 2 times 0.5. N is equal to 1. And then we have the R. Our R is 9%. So R is equal to 0 0.09. We can now solve for our I. Our I is R divided by M. So that is 0 0.09 divided by 1. Divided by 2, rather, sorry. So I is equal to 0 0.045. Okay. Next. What about our K? Our K is equal to P, which is M2 divided by the number of months in the compounding period that will be 12. So, K is equal to 1 over 12. 1 over 6, rather. 1 over 6. Now, the question here is, how much is the cost of the television set? Meaning to say, we are looking for the PV, the present value. So, that is R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by 1 plus I raised to K minus 1. Okay, so this one is equivalent to 3,000, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.045 raised to negative 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.045 minus raised to K, raised to K, 1, 6. Minus 1. Okay. So our present value is equivalent to 3,000. 1 minus 1.045 raised to negative 1 divided by 1.045 raised to 1, 6 minus 1. So the present value of the television set you will be getting there 17,000. 545.08 Let us go now to general annuity due. These are the two formulas. You just take note of this. Example 1, Camille borrowed a certain amount from a lending company to settle the loan 1000 at the beginning of each month for 5 years at 12% compounded quarterly. How much did she borrow? Okay. So, meaning to say, we are looking for, of course, the present value. But before that, let us identify or verify first whether this one is a general annuity. Let's see. This one is compounded quarterly and then each month. Okay? So, each month and then compounded quarterly. So, meaning the payment interval is different from the compounding period. That's correct. Let's verify whether it is an annuity due or not. 
It says here at the beginning of each month. So that one is correct too. Let us identify now the given. So PV is the, ano? Let's identify the given. The R is it's equivalent to 1,000. And then we have T is 5 years. And then we have R is 12%. That is equivalent to 0 0.12. And then we have here N is equal to MT. But we do not have M yet. So it says here compounded quarterly that will be 4. So our N now is equivalent to 5 or 4 times 5. So our N is 20. Okay. So what else? I. I is R divided by M. That is equal to 0 0.12 divided by 4. You will be getting there 0 0.0. 0 point what? You will be getting there 0 0.03. Okay. Next, we do not have... K yet. So what is our K here? Our K is M. What is our M for? And then it says here a month. Monthly. So K is equal to one third. Okay. So we are now ready to substitute the formula. So PV is equivalent to R. 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N. Divided by 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative k. Okay. So this is equal to 1000 multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.03 negative n. It's negative 20. Divided by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to negative k which is equivalent to one third okay one third so our pv when you press this one all you have to do is press one minus 1.03 this is 1000 1 minus 1.03 raised to negative 20 you press this 1 minus 1.03 raised to negative 20 equals divided by open parenthesis 1 minus 1.03 raised to negative one third and then close and then equals so pv there is equal to the present value is equivalent to 45,000 522.40 That's it. Example number two. Find the amount if an annuity of 50 pesos payable monthly at the beginning of each month for 18 years is worth 5% compounded quarterly. So we are looking for the PV again or the present value. So PV is a number. Okay, let's identify now the given. R is 50. Wait, let us verify first whether this is really a general annuity or not. It says here monthly and this one is quarterly. So payment interval is different from the compounding period. It's monthly quarterly. Let's see whether this one is really an annuity due. It says here at the beginning of each month. So it's really an annuity due. Okay, going back to the given. So, our R is, small r, is 5%, or that is 0 0.05. Next, our T is 15 or 18 years, 18 years. And then, our M is 4, quarterly. So, let us solve now MT, or the N, that is 4 times 18 and is equal to 72. Okay. 
What else? Our I. Our I is 0 0.05 divided by 4. When you divide 0 0.05 by 4, that will be 0 0.0125. Okay. Next, what about our K? Our K is equivalent to 4. It says here monthly 4 over 12. So our K is equivalent to 1 third. Okay. So we are now ready to substitute this in the formula PV. It's equivalent to R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative K. Okay. So PV is equivalent to 50. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0125 raised to negative 72 divided by 1 minus 1.0125 raised to negative 1 third. Okay. So you have to press this one first. 1 minus 1.0125 raised to negative 72 equals divided by open parenthesis 1 minus 1.0125 raised to negative 1 over 3 close. So PV now, the present value is 7,000. 152.91.